I want to share with you today my $90 million IRA. I've never shared this before because I've never seen a duplication of an opportunity for you, if, particularly if you're in your 20s, to duplicate what I've done here. Uh, because of the downturn in the market, some tremendous stocks are available at some ridiculously low prices, and we're entering a new digital revolution, which is actually an AI revolution. So I believe if you're in the, your 20s, uh, you can duplicate this $90 million IRA. And today I want to show you how I did it and how I think you can do the same. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. If you're not in your 20s, I don't want you to leave the video because I'm sure you know somebody who's in, your tw in their 20s, either your children or your grandchildren. And so I want you to watch this video with the purpose of, of sharing it with those people that you love who still have an opportunity, the years in front of them, 40 years or whatever, in order to accumulate what I think is an easy way to pick up a $90 million IRA. And so let me give you some background. I actually didn't see this opportunity until I was 38 years old. When I was 38 years old was when the digital revolution occurred, and I recognized that it was going to change the world I lived in. So I knew about um, IRAs and that I could put $6,000 into an IRA. And it was, it was tough, but I scraped up $6,000. And I recognized there was a guy by the name of Steve Jobs and Steve Wojcinak that, that uh, were creating a company that was going to uh, change the, the business I was in. I was in the financial planning business at the time. So I put $6,000, as I show you on this chart, in uh, this company called Apple, owned by Steve Jobs. Um, then, several years later, I learned about, I read an article about a guy by the name of Bill Gates and Steve Allen, who had what they called a PC, a personal computer. And so I decided rather than put my 6000 in Apple that year, I was going to split it between the two. And I put 3000 into each one. And then that same thing happened again when a, a company by the name of Amazon showed up and they wanted to sell me books and then records. So I, I split my 6000 again amongst the three of 2000 each and then a, a company by the name of Google showed up and then after that uh, Nvidia and then Facebook. So over the years I just continued to put 6000 in but I split it eventually down to 1000 a piece between Apple, Microsoft, um, Amazon, Google, Nvidia and and Facebook. So that's how I did it. And, and I want you to show, show you here on this spreadsheet exactly how it occurred. And you're going to see that in some years we made money. In some years, we lost money. But I just recognized that these people were changing the world I lived in, and I didn't see anybody else coming to the forefront that was capturing my attention. And again, it was not only just the company and the products, but it was the people. It was the enthusiasm that they had for what they were doing. And I just kept re reading about it. And I was in the financial planning business, so it was part of my job. And so that's how this happened. Now, let's look at the numbers a little bit closer, just so that you can see that even when you have a discouraging period of time, the future holds rewards for you if they're still changing the way you live. So we went through what we called the dot-com bubble uh, in in the, uh, the, the 2000s, and you can see they all lost money, and, and everybody thought, this is just going to hell in a handbasket, but 
nonetheless, they came back. And then we went through this thing called the subprime crisis, which was bad banking and bad management of money. And, and again, they lost money. And everybody thought, no, this, this is, they just can't keep this up. But they did. And they just kept getting better at what they did. I, I read something the other day. The most profitable business in the world today is search. That's what Google does. There's a search. And look at, look at Facebook. Uh, what is their cost of production? It, it doesn't exist. You produce their product. And, and, so, and then Microsoft, all they do is collect data. They don't have a whole lot of cost of generating. a. They aren't making a car. And they aren't making potato chips or, or brewing bourbon and waiting 27 years to take it out of the barrel. No, it happens on a regular basis. So, so okay, that gives you some explanation how this $90 million uh, IRA turned out. And, and I want to be honest with you. Took some bad losses last year. You know, some of these people lost 60% of their value. But still... I'm convinced that uh, give them another 10 years and and it, it'll just it'll be, be well over a billion dollar IRA. Now the other thing I want to point out for those of you who are young that little box up at the top it tells you about the tax savings and it it illustrates the difference between a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA. In a traditional IRA, whatever you put in, you get to deduct from your current taxes. So what I basically said was that you were going to deduct and in a 15% tax rate on $6,000, about $900 in tax savings per year. Uh, And that would work out over this period of time, 40-some years, to um, 19,000, what is that? Types so small, $800. But in a Roth IRA, you don't get to deduct that $19,000. Instead, you get to take it out when you get to retirement with no income tax. That amounts to about, what is it, $13.5 million in tax saving. So when you do this today, you're 20 years old, make sure it's a Roth IRA. <laughs> it, it, the math works out a lot better. So, okay, why do I believe you can duplicate this? Well, we're at another change. First of all, we had, we had a tremendous drop in, in some of the, as I said, they lost 65% and 40% of their value. So they're at discounted prices. And these are the same people the same companies, I believe, that are going to take us into the next digital revolution, and that's the data revolution, the, what they choose to call artificial intelligence, because what they're going to do is use the data that they've gathered over the last 40 years and then spit it back at us in a format that is going to make our lives better. We're just beginning to see it in ChatGPT. And those of you us who study the medical field, we recognize that this is going to revolutionize the medical field. It won't be medical care anymore. It'll be medical cure because you will learn from my medical problems so that you don't have medical problems. They are increasing the speed by which they can uh, create vaccines uh, and antibodies, and then they're getting into genome sequencing and genome editing. So somewhere along the line, you're probably going to want to change some of these companies or expand into the healthcare field where they're this data that they've collected over 40 years is going to pay some huge dividends in the form of extending life expectancy, removing disease from your body. This, what's going to happen in the next two? I heard someone say something and I thought it was so true. If Thomas Jefferson came back from 1776 to 2023 and saw what has changed, he'd be, his mind would be blown. 
He, you got airplanes, you got automobiles, you you've got telephones, and it, you, the change is enormous over the last two hundred. But within the next ten to fifteen years, the change will be greater than the, what t- old Tommy would be looking at today. You will look and and and, and you'll say, well, look at that they used to use these phones. Now we have a chip in the back of our neck. They used to deal with cancer and heart disease. Were they stupid? Why didn't they take that out of their body? So what I'm telling you is you can do better than I did with my $90 million portfolio. Uh, just, Just by paying a Attention, understanding. What I want you to do is is read, okay? Take advantage of the knowledge that other people have. The first book I want you to read is The World is Just... The, uh, the End of the World is Just the Beginning. This is by Peter Zeon. Uh, I read his first book, which is The Accidental Superpower, which, which lit me up as to what was going to happen, what is happening. Uh, this it will summarize the superpower and get you started. From there, then, I want you to read uh, this book because this is going to teach you about what I was talking about, genome sequencing and taking all the diseases out of our body. And you need to understand this so as to understand how that change is going to happen. And then the third book I want you to read whoops, they're all falling, is the future is faster than you think. And what this is going to do is give you an overall picture of what is happening. Now, I don't read well. I'm dyslexic, so I use Audible. I I get out, I try to get out every day and take a two two and a half to three mile walk, and I put my earbuds in, hook it to my phone, and I listen to these books. I only... uh, uh, own them because then I can go back, put the buds back in and read as I read or hear as I read and my comprehension goes up. So I'm going to put a link in the description um, for Audible where you can get your first book free if you already, if you don't already belong to it. It costs, I think, $16 a month and I get a free book or not a free book, a $16 book uh, every month. So I want you to do that. So now, what did you what did you learn here today? That a ninety million dollar IRA invested at the rate of six thousand uh, dollars a year in a Roth IRA is what you need to do. And again, if you're too old for this, share this video so that they know how what to do. Then what I want you to do is to go to uh, in the link and you're going to see a link to our Discord. Our Discord is going to change a lot. A Discord is, 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 has gotten a bit complicated. We're going to build a, uh, our website out so that everything that you need, and, and these charts that I put together, this chart here, will, will be on there so that you can go back and revisit it, and I'll have a short video that explains it. And so we're building this website out. And so I want to reach out to you and say, if you you are talented in this field and, in fact, can help us build our website, I want you to get a hold of me. Get a hold of me at this email address and put in the subject line, hub, okay? So at that email address, I'll know that you're saying, hey, Carrie, I can help you out in building out that website so that you can create a place for these young 20-year-olds and us old 78-year-olds yeah, 78-year-olds, can come and understand better the, the, uh, what is happening in the changing world that we're going into. What I want to do, yesterday I did a video on uh, the best uh, dividend stocks, and it's all wrapped around artificial intelligence that feed the, the, uh, the categories in the spreadsheet, and it's a living, breathing spreadsheet. So in other words, as the price of Amazon changes, Changes, the price on the on the spreadsheet changes, and that's not right because Amazon's not a di- uh, a dividend stock. But let's say J.P. Morgan, as their price changes, their dividend yield changes, and so on this spreadsheet uh, that changes. If if you can help us build that, you go to this 
uh, email address or write me at this email address. Tell me your qualifications and how you can do that. And let's grow together. First of all, again, 20 some years old, get yourself an IRA, a Roth IRA, $6,000. You know, don't go out to eat as much and make your own coffee and, and, and scrape together $6,000 a year. And you too can reach 65 years of age with a nine, $90 million uh, IRA, and you'll probably beat me. You'll probably beat me. So uh, that's how I constructed it. Did I actually do this? No. No, I didn't. I wish I had, but I did, un- I did recognize the value of Amazon, Google, Apple, um, and uh, that's why I don't have to worry about money now. But I didn't accumulate $90 million. I got to be honest about it. I would have liked to have walked away and said, my God, he's got $90 million. No, it didn't happen that way. Anyway, uh, you'd probably, I'd be burglarized if, yeah, anyway, um, let's talk about this more in the future, particularly if you're young. I think I can help you. Talk to you again tomorrow. Mm-hmm.